Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's got having a good weekend and a good Sunday. Mine's been going pretty good. I got up way too early today because I forgot about the time change. So I was up at 6.30 today instead of 7.30. <sighs> yeah, so I only had to change the, the clock in my bedroom and the clock... Um, in the front room and the rest takes care of itself you know like my computer and my my phone and stuff and um yeah i got that taken care of and then i had to run into town and get a few supplies oops dang near pulled that thread out as you can see we're working on the uh the yin yang uh cross stitch and it's going pretty good. I'm working on this green color here. I did take it out of the scroll because I just couldn't handle it. It was up and down, up and down, up and down. I'm like, no, nope, this is not working for me. And it goes a lot faster when it's not in the scroll because I'm so used to sewing, you know, well, normally across, you know, go on the top instead of up and down and everything. So, I've gotten a little... I'm trying to get the needle back up. Hang on. It takes great concentration to get it back through that hole. But I was going to show you. I about got his face done. I still got the green and a little bit of blue there to do on his face. But uh, for filming purposes, I just wanted to stitch down here and get these greens done. But uh, I was watching uh, videos this morning while I was doing other things and I watched one from Amy and it's just listed as Amy on uh, YouTube and uh, that's how I find it and she has she does um, cross stitch and she also does diamond painting so she had an unboxing today from Amazon and I was like freaking out you won't believe where this cross stitch, it was a, a stamped cross stitch. It was from Tin Me Arts. Yeah, I didn't know that they did cross, regular cross, you know, cross stitch type stuff like that. Because I've only bought that one um, diamond painting from them and somebody else opened it. I, I can't remember who exactly it was. But uh, that's been a hundred years ago. But it was the one with the tulips that I did earlier this year. And I have no idea when I got it. Can't even remember. But I did finish it. It was beautiful. And I was just really impressed with their kits, you know, as far as diamond painting. And when I saw this today, I was freaking out. I went on to Amazon to see if I could find any more, you know, if they had others or this was the only one that they had. The one she had gotten was one of a cottage with a bunch of fall trees surrounding it. It was just absolutely stunning cross stitch. It's going to be gorgeous. And the colors, oh my God, you know, just, just stunning. And if they do half as good with their um, cross stitch as they do with their diamond paintings, and I don't see why not buy from them you know um when i get back on my feet and everything gets going um i may uh purchase one like that or see if they have any others you know because i was just impressed i mean the quality of the the uh, kit and everything and it's stamped you know and i'm liking these stamped because you know me i'm i'm just not your count em girl I can't get into it. I can't get onto it. So, you know, it's easier if somebody's already got that. Molly says hi. Um, laid out for you, you know, and you know where to stitch and that kind of thing. Then having to keep track of a pattern, which just, uh, that's where they lost me on the beaded cross stitch. I'm telling you, it just... 
I could not follow the line and and everything else. I mean, if I had, um, which I probably do if I just look around a little bit, what I was going to say is if I'd had access to where I could uh, use a Xerox machine and photocopy it and make it larger, but I'd be doing that all the time. You know, so I, I don't know. It, it's kind of hard for me to say, oh, goodness gracious, get up there, silly. I know it's getting kind of wrinkly because I've had it in my hand for sure. So, you know, I mean, it's just something to go check out. And uh, if you would like, go ahead and check out her um, channel where she was showing it. Make sure I got number one. Sorry, guys. You know, because it's well worth the time to... Uh, go and do that now I'm using uh, this is the 310 black and it is where this blue is so wherever you see blue that's where this is at come on silly goofy this stuff is so it, it's alright you know I, I'm liking it sorry I had to use my crappy cigarette oh, I was going to say I don't know what I did with my other ones yeah they were right there you know me get it all there and then not so much so then let's see what else did I do today I uh, <coughs> make sure I was doing this right because if I have to rip something out you know it's I'm just gonna freaking lose it I don't know if I used Hi, Bay. I think. Well, that's what I just did. Let's go up here a little bit. I think I've been using two strands through the, out this whole thing. We'll know when I get down here to, uh, I love this stuff. It, it threads really easy because it just lays so flat because it's silk or whatever it is made of. I don't know. I've had people tell me various different things. Molly, hush. Jeez, she's driving me crazy today. She's been cooped up all week. Let's see how this looks. I may have to go to three. sure it looks all the same yeah I think so but uh, I forgot what I was saying so anyway I've been diamond painting all morning making progress making progress that's all I'm gonna say I'm getting down to short rows um then for lunch yesterday when I was out shopping with my daughter we went to Walmart and, you know, we had to take the kids for all their winter clothes, not winter clothes, but, you know, like outdoor clothes and coats. And it's like everybody outgrew everything. But anyway, while I was there, I picked up an eggplant. I love fried eggplant. And uh, I fried it up today for lunch. And I'm sitting there eating it as I'm frying it because I can't wait longer, any longer. I was going to make um, eggplant parmesan, but, eh, it just didn't appeal to me at the time. I had pretty much everything except for maybe parmesan cheese to uh, put it all together. But, uh, so that was really yummy. I sat there and made myself sick. Not sick, but close to it because, yeah, I love fried eggplant. I love it. My grandmother got me to eat fried eggplant, God, back in the 60s. They'd fry up a eggplant and, um, like padded, patty pork sausage and have those two things at the same time and my grandmother used to tell me that 
during the, the Depression, they'd have eggplant instead of meat. You know, if they were short on their stamps or, or whatever, you know, things were. But I thought that was interesting. And I, I've always loved eggplant. My mother used to uh, peel it and uh, slice it into big rounds. Or however big, you know, the egg, actual eggplant is. And then she'd soak them in milk. She said it took the um, bitterness out of it. So, I'm like, okay. See, that just does not look the same, does it, guys? Oh, hell. Please. Okay, well, you know what we're going to do? Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to go on to something else, and I'll have to go back and take all that out. Let's see. The slice lines are number 10. Thank God there's only 10 colors in this thing. And I, they're all in baggies now because I just couldn't deal with that. Well, I thought they were. Um, what do you call it? Oh, that's six. It might take a moment, guys. Four, six, come on. Seven. It's number five. Number nine. Hey, we're getting closer. Okay, there's number ten. Ten is kind of a offy white. It's three eight. I can't really read the number. I want to say three eight three eight. That might not be the right number. I don't have the schematic with me right now. So I guess we'll be doing this with three strands. Hopefully we won't run out of thread. Okay, we gotta do this again. Oh, let's use the good scissors. The other ones, they act like, you know, they, uh, they're duller and dull. And right this second, I have no idea where my scissor sharpener thing I got from Fiskers. My, a friend of mine when I lived in Wyoming, good Lord, years ago, gave it to me because we were quilting and we were cutting out pieces by hand and she bought that for me, so. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Really? Uh, come on. Gotta get it. I put a knot in it so it doesn't fray out while I'm trying to get it threaded okay what did it okay geez it's not a good day so I had have two football games to watch today we've got KC Chiefs early and then the Bronco game is two something this afternoon so I thought well I'll just split hairs and and uh, do it do the video right now and that way I can sit back and relax and watch football. But, uh, oh, that's much better, I think. It covers better. Yep, I will have to... See, this looks okay. And these look okay. So I must have been using three strands. Because that's not like me. I usually, on 11 count, I uh, use two. But since this is so kind of flaky, it's not flaky, it's just different. Different would be the word. Yeah, different. Oh, yeah. And then I've been doing that all day. Come on. A little corp. But uh, yesterday I definitely didn't feel like doing this. I wanted to work on that silly diamond painting and try to finish that crazy thing. Can you see where I'm stitching? And it's laying down pretty good. I mean, I, I still like the one with the birds the best. But I can't imagine if I had bought all three of them going, oh my god, it, they would have taken forever. But it is easier to sew it this way than the up and down method just takes me forever and I just lose all patience. I want to make some kind of progress on something. I've been saying that all year. You realize this, right? 
It's like, oh my God. Oh, goodness gracious. Come on. It's all whoppy jawed here. Let it hang for a minute. Wait, if it gets all tangled up, you should just let it hang from, like, the table. You know, upside down. And it'll undo. I even have that problem sometimes with uh, DMC. Especially when you get towards the end. But uh, I try not to cut these um, threads for the silk as long. Try to make them kind of short. I don't know what this is supposed to be here that we're sewing. Like I said, I don't have my little picture of it here. I don't think. I bought some brats today so I could have brats tonight for dinner. And they only had one kind of sauerkraut at the grocery store. I'm like, what in the hell? Is there like a ban on sauerkraut these days? I love sauerkraut. And I usually get the um, the Bavarian sauerkraut. We used to uh, fix Polish sausage and, and sauerkraut. Oh, God, it was so good. If we're not having that, we're having Polish sausage with fried cabbage and onions. Oh. Yep, yum, yum, yum. Hopefully I'm going in the same direction. Whoops. Went way too far. Sometimes you can't get but a few stitches, but it's better than having it all knot up or be so staticky while you're trying to work with it that it does end up knotting up, you know, is what I wanted to say. <coughs> but, uh... I guess that looks a lot better. I guess it'll look better when they're side by side and it's all flat across. But that, it's just too, too loose. So I have to take it out. God. Come on. Then I get to the end and then it likes to do that. I'm not pulling it far enough. I've been reading, uh, Black Hills by Nora Roberts. So I'm about halfway through with that one. I've been knocking these books off left and right, and then I'll probably go another six months and not read another book for a while. <sighs> kind of keep a a steady pull on this. And it doesn't affect the eight o'cloth, you know, and make it double under like that uh, satiny cloth. Hang on, guys. Come on. Now, of course, I didn't leave. i got to get that out of the way. Enough uh, thread at the bottom. So I just tie it in a triple knot and then cut it off. And that way I, I know it's not going anywhere. It seems to work out just fine. Don't know what's going on over here, but we'll just get rid of it while we're at it. I had this thing on the, the scroll, so it's, geez Louise, still got the tape on the bottom. I didn't take it off. I didn't want to rip it. It's it's good. And that way, it'll keep it from ripping, see? But the other sides, sides are surged over, well, this is more of a, uh, the salvage. And it does have stitching across it. So, it works out well. Now i got to straighten this thread out. Gee, Manetli, I picked the wrong day to do this. I've been doing a lot of stitching videos lately, so that's why I thought I'd... <sighs> Seriously? That's the, one, the extra one I had on the last one. I found that out. When I went to go thread it, there was four pieces instead of three. So, 
I guess that's part of a, a flower there. I don't know. I haven't figured out what the heck that is. Maybe it's just a design. I have no idea. Okay. Almost couldn't find my needle there. Oh, come on. Seriously. Well, at least the snow's melting. That's a plus. I hear it dripping against the side of the door. I don't know if you can hear that or not. If I have to... Are you friggin' serious? I just told you how easy that was to thread. The last one went perfect. So, we'll get out the threader. Thank God we have a hundred of them. No, we had fifty of them to start with. We're probably down to twenty. Gone out of that. Oh, jeez. Because I keep taking them over there and then they fall on the floor or under the couch and Okay, finally, we're ready to go again. We're going to put that thread up there so I don't sew it in accidentally. Let's see. I guess we will start right there. And my finger was getting sore. I did want go and get my uh, my thimble. I found it, thank God. But I just have no need for it when I'm going up and down and up and down. And it goes a lot easier this way. Yeah. Just kind of straighten it out and flatten it out. Some of them lay down better than others, you know. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me or what. Hang on, guys. I'm trying to get it to, yeah. And then I pull it with the needle. That's always special. So, some moments are better than others on this thing. You just gotta have some kind of patience. But you know how that goes it in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. But I like it. I mean, I love the picture, so it's not like it's not going to get done, so I'll just keep hacking at it like I did Dream for months on end. I figured it's been seven months since I started Dream. Unbelievable. That's just unfathomable. Pull it and cinch it a little bit so that it'll lay down. And it is making doing coverage well, you know. Oh, come on, really? Yeah, okay. But it's acting like it's, I don't know, it acts like material that's had water on it that shouldn't have water on it. And it ain't even been near water. It's all crinkly. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I've never seen this type of thread in a store. So, I have no idea if you could... I'm, I'm sure you can, you know, given a big enough place buy this thread to sew with in a regular like not quilting but a sewing store you know where they would sell other types of flosses I mean we have such limited resources here I just oh my god okay guys okay I'll have to pull that one down too. Oh, 
no, it actually went in there this time. It's like every third stitch, see what I mean? And I come back across. Yeah, I, I'd say it was a pain in the butt, but, you know, I'm going to be tenacious with it. But like I said, I don't know if you can buy this, you know, so much of it in skeins or whatever. So I haven't looked for that kind of thing before. For, and probably the real silk instead of something that was manufactured. But uh, I don't know. So if anybody knows the answer to that question, you know, hey, let me know. Because heaven knows. I might actually end up liking this. And this would be so much easier with a single thread. I mean, I could see how that would work so much better. But trying to do cross stitch with it is hmm, testy at best. How's that? Let's see if we can get these. But that other one that I got, the one with the the birds and the, the plum blossoms, it's so pretty. Um, the threads seem to be a better quality for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's because I didn't use it very much yet, you know. But it, it really did seem that it laid down better, it behaved better, and it was all from the same company, so I think. I'm pretty sure. So, okay, let's, yeah. All right, guys, well, it's been real, huh? Will you please come out of there? Oh, my goodness. Hang in there, all y'all. Oh, yeah. See where I'm at. Make sure everything is pulled down. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me today and listening to me blabber on. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. <coughs> and please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Sorry, I didn't mean to move the camera. Y'all have a good rest of your weekend and a good rest of your day. God bless. Bye-bye.